walkers aren't getting through that thing. Oh. The scratches are from the freaking giant wardrobe. Oh. That's right. Lee, do you know how to break into houses? It's just that you know you're well urban. <laughs> Stop looking behind you. Oh. Apparently we have switched from W to S key now. Yeah, what what is going on? It's an electric blanket! They're just keeping Mark warm. Uh power cord? Okay, what's going on here? Huh, what is that cord going? I don't know, let's plug it in. Seems like a good idea. Gonna electrocute Mark right here. Bzzz. What the hell? Uh, yeah, more of that hydrating fluid. Ugh, what is this stuff? We found it in the Looks barn like as well. Medical waste in here. IV tube, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Oh, <gasps> Orphine, grab that shit. We've been so looking for this morphine. for the whole. Freaking game! Just take that. Why is there no take? Candles. Smart. <laughs> I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Don't forget to bring a towel. Musty as hell. Okay. Are we done? Are we done with this closet here? Not even gonna bother to close it up or unplug the power cord. Let's see, only one door to go through now, Lee. Oh, something's going on behind that bookshelf. Yeah, where the fuck is Mark? What the hell? Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. That's fucking... Oh my god. They just put him in the sauna, Lee. Don't, don't worry about it. What's up with this painting going on over here? It's kind of creepy. Feels like there's a storm coming. Oh, nice. Good, good foreshadowing there, Lee. Is that blood? It's just tomato juice. Don't worry about the tomato juice. Home books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay, let's see if we can push this bookshelf without making any noise. Because you're urban and all. Yep, nobody heard that. Good job, Lee. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Lee. Mark. Mark, I'm so sorry, Mark. I'm so sorry I gave you that beef jerky. Could have killed that for myself. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Oh. Uh. Clementine. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 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 No oh god, no. Oh no. It's people. People. What? Huh? Yes, Lee. It's all people in here. Sit down. You're No. find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? Oh, my God. He could use some goddamn <sighs> manners. Uh, uh, I, I, I can't... I can't even Lee, speak. Sit down and eat your goddamn dinner. This woman made you a home-cooked meal, you ungrateful shit. Show some respect. Thank you, Larry. You don't even have the decency to take a hand out when you're offered one. Oh, my it God. It just makes me sick. Really does. Larry, you're gonna be eating your own words. Maybe we should. Yes! Fuck you, Larry! Eat up, you bitch! Fuck you, Larry! Eat up! Oh my I god! I think I think life. I've just stepped across the precipice to insanity. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? 
Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Uh oh. I. Mom, I was eating that. Uh. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked. All right, now the truth this comes is out. Dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. What the down. fuck is going on here? Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now you got monsters roaming around. It wasn't a cannibal cow. People. It was and cannibal people. To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Uh, we outnumber you. So don't fuck with Lee, us. That's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Oh shit. Uh, Lily, grab the knife. Kill these bitches. Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. Oh. Damn it, Lily. Freaking Air Force chick. Put your guns down. We're walking out of here. Near my fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, you want to Uh, die. everything will be okay. Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee. Lee. Good thing I didn't tell Clementine to run. They would have shot her, those assholes. Go over her, you go asshole. Over, you son of a bitch. Oh, Mark, don't stumble down the stairs. It's going to be really, really creepy. Oh, please. Mark, please, no. Please. Please, Mark. Oh, God. I will tear you. That was me about to vomit. Gotta find another way out of here. Yo, sad fucking bastards. Oh god. Open this door. Fuck am I playing here? It it was a person. I ate meat from a person. Does that mean I'm gonna turn into no, no clue, don't worry about it, Clem. It doesn't work like that. If he would have stopped us in time, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. <laughs> that evil fucker invited me to eat the meat, and all the time he knew what. Happened. <laughs> Stay home, Dad. We'll deal with it later. Oh, that's awesome. Fuck you, Larry. You okay, Clementine? You okay, Clementine. They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. Yeah, it's not time to place blame. It's time to get the fuck out of here. I got that multi-tool skit still, right? They didn't frisk my ass. Alright. Clementine, please restore my sanity. I'm, I'm close to losing it over here. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Or, or you can do that, Doctor Lee. You're you pumping keep me up. Eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Come on. Let's let's make a bomb out of these boxes. Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. <laughs> You're making jokes right now, Doctor Lee. You you truly are a badass. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. There's no way out through the ceiling. Maybe it's a fake ceiling. Like a tinfoil ceiling. Hum. This looks familiar. Like episode one, pallets. Uh, well, alright, this is way too easy. Obviously not. No such luck. <laughs> uh, good old good old adventure game. Alright, Larry, calm down. We're we're going insane over here. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah. I want to attract their attention, so I can fucking kill them. Ah, oh, Larry. Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. Ah, uh, nicely. What the hell is your problem? You, if 
refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you practically fucking pushed my face into that goddamn human barbecue? You must really hate me. I, I really kind of do. You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! You know what? Oh, You're not even God worth God hating. Fuck no. you. You're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Yeah, so why haven't you exposed me then, huh? Because you need me. You need the doctor. Oh, now you really need the doctor. Oh. And here I was thinking you were going to stay around for episode 3. No. Fuck yo Dad, ass, Larry. Fuck. Yo. Oh God, ass. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Oh. God damn it. And I'm the doctor. He's dead. He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. How are you gonna kill him? Are you gonna curb stomp his ass? Six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Oh man. God damn it, you guys have to give me another moral decision right away. God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead. Uh Lily, you can save him, maybe. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Well, maybe he'll just Kitty, kill Lily, the and then... Damn, this, the this is gonna suck. Duck. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Well, let's just... Only, you can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. Damn, you're right, damn Kenny. Me, I need you! Please help me! Oh, shit, son. God. Come on. Uh... Wake up. Oh All right, fine. I'll fucking save you. Now, nah, fuck you. Come Go on. with Kenny. Let's kill this fucking bastard. Kenny, let's get this you over. fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! Get off me! Don't do this! Ah, uh, yeah. Quick time event to kill Larry. This is. Uh oh. Larry's gonna wake up right in the middle of this, and we're gonna look like real bastards. Come on, Kenny, just just kill him to prove me right. Oh, fuck, dude! Wow. God help us. God help me. Don't you fucking touch me! Now I feel like a fucking asshole. Well, let me tell you, he was a murderer. I'm sorry. We couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So he won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. God damn, we just smashed his brains out. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Uh... Your walkie-talkie. Oh, that's that's genius. With your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Do you still have that? Let's let's call up those. Let's call up Carly. Got to call up Carly. Oh, I thought that would be the answer. Wow, that that was hella disturbing. So on that uplifting note, I guess we'll call the episode. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Till next time, take care of yourself.